What's going on YouTube? This is my first tutorial video and I wanted to show you all how to find tempo. I know a lot of producers out there are big on sampling and this is definitely a very uh, helpful way of uh, finding the tempo or the BPM. So first let's listen to the sample. <laughs> Um, next, make sure you are on slip mode. You go in the top left corner here uh, and um, make sure it's highlighted. And then you make sure tab to transients is enabled. So you click on it, make sure it's blue. Put your cursor at the beginning of the wave and you press tab. And it will locate the first transient. The first transient is uh, normally where the sound starts so for example um, snares kicks or um, any drastic change in amplification will create a transient so if I keep pressing tab then it will identify those transients as you see it moving through the wave so let's go back to the beginning hit tab and um, Let's chop the rest of this space right here by hitting uh, on your keyboard the letter A, the key. Slide the wave all the way to the front. This is important so that um, the grid has a reference point. And then you um, click the conductor man here so you can access the BPM. And now um, we're going to play the sample, but this time we're going to um, tap it out. Um, so you hit T on the keyboard while you're playing. So there you go. Um, as you see on the top right, um, the BPM changed when I tapped along to the sample. So we're going to check it uh, by two ways. The first one, um, the first way I normally check is by listening to the click and see if it matches up. Um, and it does match up. Second is you can do it visually. So you can go on grid. I normally check it uh, a quarter note. Uh, you zoom in and you look at the transients they seem to evenly match up somewhat so let's listen to it again so that's uh, so 140 seems to be the tempo so you can select grid mode and once you're on grid mode then you can move it around the session and uh, it will stay on the grid, it will stay on beat, and uh, it will keep its tempo. So there you go. Short and sweet, that's how you find the tempo of a sample. If you have any questions, um, feel free to write them down on the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, and have a good one.